This is the last chilling photo of Jolie Callen before her ex-boyfriend pushed her off the cliff, manipulated by her ex into going on a trip in which she did not survive, overlooking the scenic forest landscape of the Pinhoti Trail in Chiha State Park. Jolie had her whole life ahead of her as she was lured into the hands of an evil, jealous ex. What's worse is that he nearly got away with it. Jolie was a happy and sweet high school girl who had goals, aspirations, and a good circle of friends. She attended Vincent High School in Alabama, where she would eventually meet Lauren Bunner, though it was after he graduated from the school that they formed a romantic relationship. Jolie loved animals. After she graduated from high school, she was going to start school at the University of Montevallo and study veterinary medicine. During the relationship, they even purchased a dog named Kiba together, who would tag along with them often. But after months of the couple dating, Bunner began to show signs that he was controlling, often not letting Jolie hang out with her own friends anymore. He would only allow her to hang out with his friends only, and no one else. His possessive nature was starting to present itself. According to those who knew the young pair, Bunner was indeed possessive and wanted Jolie to spend time with him and his friends only. Bunner became increasingly jealous of Jolie seemingly having her own life. Jolie often felt as if she lacked her own freedom and individuality among the relationship. After 10 months of being together, Jolie ended her relationship with Bunner. Because of their dog Kiba, the two stayed in touch because the dog still lived at Bunner's house. And after a while, Jolie was beginning to see someone else, but wanted to remain on good terms with Bunner. Yet his feelings of jealousy and hate continued to linger. And months after being broken up, that was when Bunner asked her to go on a hiking trip with him. Something of a symbolic friendship hike, as he would explain it. But this would be the last time that Jolie is ever seen again. And so they took their dog Kiba along with them on this hiking trip. The pair had went to the Pinhoti Trail in the southern U.S. While there, Bunner would take numerous photos of Jolie. Some reports even claim that Jolie said, and quote, If something happens to me, you'll know who I was with. Bunner posted Instagram photos of Jolie during the hike, which still remain up today, as is his Instagram, which shows Jolie overlooking the scenic view. And just moments after this photo was taken, Bunner shot her and pushed her off the cliff. On the 30th of August 2015, police were alerted to a potential homicide in Pinhoti Trail in Chiha State Park. They had received a phone call from a man who had informed them that he had just murdered his ex-girlfriend. Bunner was calling to turn himself in. He made a full confession but claimed that he had shot Jolie as part of an S-word pact but he had backed out after he took her life. At the scene, police seized the weapon from Bunner and they also found blood on his steering wheel. Police also reported a large amount of blood at the scene where Miss Callan was shot. Commentators swarmed his Instagram account where he wrote, My life is basically a bad punk album, end quote. Both of their Instagrams still remain up to this day, with people commenting their condolences to Jolie and their hatred towards Bunner. It's almost as if a part of us is memorialized through our social media platforms. Bunner also has a YouTube page that's still up. It's interesting. He's a horrible singer, I must say. Cops believe that he lured Jolie because she wouldn't take him back and that she had moved on. So within his unhinged mentality, if he couldn't have her, no one could. Meanwhile, Jolie's loved ones gathered for a candlelight vigil at Vincent's Municipal Park. Over 100 people showed up for the vigil and reminisced about Jolie and the memories they had together. In January of 2017, Bunner appeared in court and he pleaded not guilty to the murder of Jolie. He was ordered to stand trial. In mid-July, however, just days before the trial was scheduled to begin, Bunner pleaded guilty to Jolie's murder, claiming that they planned on unaliving together. He then said that Jolie asked him to shoot her when she wasn't looking and that after he ended her life, he couldn't go through the same fate. This contradicts the fact that Jolie didn't come off as a sad and depressed person. She had passionate goals and aspirations. Even her family argued that she wasn't in the state of mind to ever do something like that. Not saying that parents know everything about their child automatically, but she simply wouldn't do this. Bunner also confessed to two inmates as well, and law enforcement agencies. 
He supposedly bragged to his cellmates about the incident and said that if he couldn't have her, no one else could, according to the information provided in the court. But then his attorneys argued that he had a disability and that he should be granted a youthful offender status. Under Alabama law, any defendant under the age of 21 may file for this status, which guarantees that they get no more than three years for the crime, regardless of the severity. Lauren Bunner was granted that status. Michael Callan, Jolie's father, called a local ABC affiliate to petition this status. The subsequent media frenzy saw Bunner back in court, and within no time, his youthful offender status was revoked. The circuit court judge said that Bunner will be tried as an adult and will be facing felony charges, which could come with a sentence of life in prison. But on July 13, 2017, Bunner pleaded guilty to taking Jolie's life, though his attorneys pleaded with the courts for leniency, claiming that there's evidence that he lived with a mental illness. The judge, however, was not swayed. Bunner was sentenced as an adult and got 52 years in prison, while also being demanded to pay around $10,000 in restitution. This left many wondering what happened to their dog, Kiba. Many people wanted to know if the dog suffered a similar fate as Jolie. But according to a friend of Jolie, last they heard, Kiba was now staying with Jolie's family. Or this could just be a troll on Reddit, who can really say for sure. But to lie about something like that would be a bit weird. After the sentencing, Jolie's father said that he was satisfied with Bunner's sentence, but if it were up to him, he would have given him the electric chair or life in prison. In a statement from Jolie's father, he says, Jolie was a sweet girl, and I like to think that she's smiling today. It's been a long fight, and without you all, I don't know where I'd be. And to all those who stepped up to help, it changed something. A quote from her father. This goes to show the power that our communities can hold when it comes to justice being served. After the sentencing, Bunner will be eligible for parole in 15 years which is basically a big slap in the face. We can only hope that he doesn't get out by then, because in what world would he need to be freed for such a heinous act? He calls his life a bad punk album, as he so claims, while taking his ex's life. Pure delusion and insanity like this doesn't deserve freedom, in my opinion. Bunner still remains in prison to this day. As for more updates, he is currently working inside the prison system to earn money for his bond.